Hey everyone, this is Guffinator from Caligula Octa Team Go, and as you can tell, we're playing Star Wars Battlefront. See, I've been editing this video multiple times, but it took me a while because my app kept crashing. That's why it hasn't been up when I said it would. But as you can see here, we're going to have to choose from all these different missions. Or game modes, I mean. Look at it all. They're all really good, in my opinion, but not all of them are the best. And in this list of top five, I'll show you my top five favorite game modes in Star Wars Battlefront. As for number five, we have Blast. Blast is your stereotypical team deathmatch game mode that's in every first person shooter that's online. Now in this game mode, just like every other, all you do is you just use your basic weapons and like your skills or grenades if you have it. But there's not much variation in this game mode from other game modes and that's why it's number five on the list. At number four, we have Drop Zone. Drop Zone is your stereotypical go to an objective, stand there for three minutes and hope that you can hold it for long enough for you to get points. Now in this game mode, you're discarding a drop pod while fighting off the enemy team. And if the enemy team gets it before you get it, well, you have to fight for it. It's just an on and on battle, which goes in between teams. These games can easily last for hours just from defending one pod and it gets switched between teams so fast. But it's not my favorite game mode in Battlefront, so that's why it's number four. For number three, we have Fighter Squadron. Now in this game mode is really, really fun because you get to go in the iconic vehicles like the X-Wings and the TIE Fighters. And you get to go around to do different objectives, either just shooting down other enemy ships, which is really fun, or sometimes you have to help escape pods and escape ships get out of the area before the enemies kill them. In this game mode, you can also play as a Slave 1 of the Millennium Falcon. And this game mode would be lower on my list towards like either 2 or 1, but because of how first person is, I really like immersion in games, but first person inside of the ships just limit your view so much you can barely lock on to anyone, which is why it's number 3 on the list. At number 2 we have Walker Assault. Now Walker Assault is a really really unique game mode that I really enjoy. You, as the Imperials, you go and have to guard the Imperial Walkers and get to a certain objective to destroy the Rebel base. While on the other side, as the Rebels, you have to destroy it by capturing array stations so you can target them and destroy their shields. Now, this game mode takes so long, which makes it good, because you can play this for hours and hours. It's so fun. This game mode is just ooh, it's awesome, and it's really unique because of what you do. Now, what other games do you use a giant walker or some kind of giant mobile base looking thing and have to get it across the map while others do this stuff? There might be a game, I might not be knowing. But this game mode is really fun, but it's not as good as what's on number one. And that's why it's number two on this list. For number one, we have Heroes vs. Villains. Now, in this game mode, you play as iconic characters from the movies. Now, this is really, really fun. That's why it's number one. Because if you want to be freaking Luke Skywalker, go around just hitting people in the air with the Force powers and just hitting the lightsabers you can, or if you want to be Boba Fett and go collecting them bounties and collecting heads with your assault rifle and your flamethrower, you can. And it just makes everything feel so cool because you can have good lightsaber battles with Vader and Luke, or you could just go around and actually feel like you're Boba Fett just killing people, burning them to death, you know, their flesh scorching, all that good stuff. Or you could play as Palpatine, which is kind of sucky, because all you could do is shock people. Doesn't have a lightsaber or anything. All, all you could do is just pretend you're Palpatine and go, Oh, permit the power! But that's about it. And that's why this is my favorite game mode, and it's number one on the list.